You look at all these bees right here, you'll see how crazy this is, how strong this colony is. Uh, they're stinging me in the back. Uh, they're working their way up my jacket, getting in my veil. I'm about ready to be done with this. They are too. Look at all these bees, man. I finally did something I've been wanting to do for a while. Let me show you what I mean. I bought this Apime hive right here a couple of years ago and I really liked it. And then I put some bees in this seven frame Apime nuke box here. And I've liked it. For a while I wanted to have mostly Apimes or at least kind of some matching hives in my backyard. So I went ahead and just purchased these Apime hives right here. We have three of the full size Apime hives, uh, two deeps, two mediums on the bottom there, as well as two seven frame nukes right there. <laughs> those are the boxes they came in it took several days but they finally all made it so today we're going to put the bees from those three hives right there into those Apame hives right there before we put bees in them i'm just going to kind of give you a quick tour on one of these hives and show you what they're made of so a couple of discs right here for upper entrances that's kind of like a queen excluder feature there you can close it up it can get ventilation or completely close it off if you want that's on both the bottom and the top deep here spot right here for documentation if you want to uh, keep track or identify your hive somehow these doors open and close if you want to move the bees you just close them up it's got two sides the bees go in and out uh, one of the things i really like it as well is it has these latches right here um the latches hold it in place you can you know, it's also got handles you can pick it up with those handles the lid the latches on i'm gonna latch that one and it's got these feeders right here the feeders are pretty cool as well you can pour your feed in here it's got two sides this side right here is the syrup side it closes off so the bees can't get out into the area where the syrup is there but there's a ladder inside the bees can climb up and down to get the syrup or if you want to put candy in here or probably even like pollen patties, you just turn over to the candy side right there. The candy side creates space so the bees can get in and out of this area right here and feed as they need to. I did not order the frames with these. I'm just going to transfer the frames that are in the current hives over into this. So you got two medium boxes here on the top. The standard medium frames. <clears throat> and I'm going to take the top box off too. It is a little windy, so if it's a little muffled, I apologize. We got these spacers, a 10 frame spacers that go in here if you want to space your frames out. You got a pollen trap right here, and here's the tray. If you don't want to collect pollen from the bees, just pull the pollen trap out, as well as the tray. Then you put the red plug right here where the pollen trap was. Here's the bottom tray on the hive. Put like diatomaceous earth or uh, whatever you want down here to kind of catch and kill the beetles. It's got little holes in it so the water will drain or you can just leave the tray on the bottom. Just do whatever you want with that. We have these divider boards right here. See it says right here, ergo brood board. That means it goes in the bottom box. Of course they have these discs in here. That's completely blocked off, clean excluder and just ventilation right there. If you wanna make it into two colonies, you just push it down like this and it fits right into place. This one goes in the bottom there go brood board if you have a second box on there you can put the ergo super board in there and it can be like a double deep stacked two hives in one right here of course we got the queen scooter to go on top as well let's go put some bees in these hives You'll see I have this concrete paver here. It's 19 and a half by 19 and a half. The Apime hives are wider than a standard hive, and so they don't fit very well in the center blocks. So as we go, I'm gonna move the bees out of this beehive into an Apime here, and then I'm gonna kind of go down the line and kind of put the stands in place as we go. And my stand is gonna consist of this paver, two center blocks, and then the other paver right there on top of it to get them up off the ground a little bit. So as you can see, I've got my stand set up here. Got plenty of space here to pull the tray out without it hitting the fence. So I'm just going to take these hives and I'm going to put them straight over into the apimaze. Now I will reverse this one. I'll put the deep on the bottom and the medium on the top and uh, we'll do a double deep here. And if we need it, we'll do the triple deep there. Before we go on, if you'd hit that like button, I'd appreciate it. Help push this video out to more people. We're going to see what we have. It's been a little while since I've been in these colonies. Hope we got some healthy colonies here. I did take splits out of them a few weeks back. And so if the queen was in a nuke that I took away, then they may be trying to bounce back. Hopefully they're mated if there was a new queen. For this colony right now is not looking super strong. Lots of pollen, got some nectar coming in around the top. The bees seem pretty calm, seem pretty happy. I don't hear any roar as if they're queenless. They're drawing that new foundation out. They definitely have these cells polished. Yes, I'm seeing some eggs, thank goodness. 
There's a little queen right there. Beautiful little queen, brand new little queen. She's just starting to lay. That's exciting. Okay, we're in good shape then. Very careful putting this frame in. We made those splits, I think, four weeks ago. So they're just starting to draw that out. So they are greatly weakened from the splits and not really having any brood in here. Not sure if any swarms came out of this colony or not. I don't know how they would have, but yeah, she is just starting to lay in those cells on that other frame. Not really seeing much activity on these other frames. And so we're just gonna have to leave this one alone for a while. We're gonna leave it in a deep and a medium and let the bees do their thing. Now let's put the medium on here. Let me smoke them. Kind of run them off the edge there. <clears throat> so this will give me some better looking hives here in my backyard. Give me a chance to play with these Apame hives some. But yeah, we got a few eggs in there. So she's just getting busy. Zero capped brood. So she must have just been laying here for a few days. They've got a lot of cells polished for her to lay in. So I think a deep and a medium is plenty of space for them. Now they're gonna kind of be plateaued here on population, maybe even go down a little bit more for the next uh, couple of weeks. But once that new brood starts to emerge, this colony should just start to explode right in time for our honey flow. They'll be a little confused here, but before long, they'll recognize this is their hive and they'll be going in and out of it as if nothing even changed. i put the feeders on here. I'm going to go ahead and turn them to the uh, syrup setting. I may go ahead and feed them some because there really isn't much food in there. And put the latches on. Well, I had to break this triple deep apart and move it so I could get the hive stand ready over here where the apame is all set up. And you look at all these bees right here, you'll see how crazy this is, how strong this colony is. You can see this actually was the bottom box because here's the bottom board. I just set it up here. Those are the other two boxes right there. I think assuming everything goes like I think it will, we're going to go ahead and do a split into that uh, seven frame after me right there. Go ahead and put that thing to use. Remember, this was the bottom box. I've got them reversed right now from how they were. That frame I'm seeing uh, mostly pollen, a little bit of nectar. More of the same. Little brood over here, but mostly pollen. And lots of bees. Lots of wind out here today. You got some brood right there. Bees are calm. More pollen on this side. I think I'll just leave this frame in here. Look at that brood. Wow, awesome. I'll take this one and put it in the split right in the middle. There's some brood on here as well as some more pollen. Let me take that one too. I'm seeing some larvae and stuff through here. Really haven't seen any eggs yet though. Lots of pollen on that one right there. Oh, we got some polished cells. Really don't see any eggs or larvae on that one. I'm doing a quick scan for the queen. In reality, it won't be that big of a deal if she ends up in the nuke, because I'm gonna try and leave resources in both. That is a beautiful frame right there of pollen, bee bread. Leave it in here. Put a couple of empty frames in here. I'm gonna kind of checkerboard them in. A frame right there. Nothing too exciting. Let's leave it in here. Okay, now one way I've found that works really well if you got bees on the inside of the box like this, if you just tend to shake it like this really hard, they'll fall into the hive pretty good. Uh, here we have a frame that's just starting to be drawn out. This must be where from, from where I pulled a split. Lots of drone breed on the bottom of that one. We have some regular brood right up through here. I do see some eggs in there, which is good news. That means there's a queen in here. They've just put some wonky comb on here, shake them in here. Mainly it's just some drone comb they built the wrong direction. So those times if you just scrape that off and give them another shot, they'll do it right next time, hopefully. All right, on this frame, I see eggs all in there. 
So this frame is going to go in the split. We do have some drone comb here. We got some pollen. We definitely have eggs, which I'm excited about. Perfect. I think I'm actually going to put it in the middle right here. So now we got three frames over here. I'm honestly trying to weaken this hive a little bit, take away some of the resources. That way the nook will be strong. Got plenty of nurse bees and it'll give them room to grow. Oh, so let me put that in there. That crazy wonky comb. And this is a frame that already was drawn out. I don't know what they're doing. I'm gonna leave that a frame that has some, some pollen on it, some uh, food on it here. Well, let me just put it in here. That way those bees will have plenty of bee bread. I think that's all I'm gonna put in there. I may shake a few more bees in there, but a little bit of honey on that frame maybe. If I find a honey frame, I'll put it in that nuke as well, and then we'll have two frames for them to draw out. Uh, right here we have nectar. I'm filling this up with nectar. Yeah, let me put this in here. One, two. That's actually six. I probably need to pull one of those frames out. Take this pollen frame out. Ooh, they're getting irritated. I don't blame them. So we got five frames in here. I think I'm just gonna push all these frames together in the middle. And I'm gonna put two new frames on the outside. Give them some room to grow, to build some wax. These are Pierco triple wax frames. That's what I've used for years, the black ones. Now I'm gonna try some Premier this year. Let's go ahead and put a couple frames in here. I'm give them some work to do. See, we're trying to give them some empty foundation for them to fill out. There's a frame with some drawn comb in it. Uh, they're stinging me in the back. They are getting fired up and I totally get it. You'll notice I put a fair amount of foundation in that middle box. Now, lots of times those bees, they'll try and connect everything together. And so if you put the foundation in the middle, hopefully they'll draw that out pretty quickly. This last box is gonna be very quick. I may scan for the queen a little bit, shake some more bees in that box. Beyond that, I'm just gonna transfer them straight over. It's mostly just tiny. Oh, I got one going right down my pants. Ah, oh, that one stung me right in the... Ah, no fun. Man, there's a fair amount of brood right up here in this top box. Boy, I could really make another split out of this colony if I had enough frames. Easily. We might just let them make honey, see what they can do. Or, <laughs> they might make another split. Look at all those dang bees, man. Wow. Golly. Stand for the queen real quick. Don't see her. And let's shake them in here. Just gotta get some population out of this hive here. No queen on here that I can see. Let's shake some bees. Ah, they're working their way up my jacket, getting in my veil. Had one go up my ear a couple of weeks ago and that was no fun. Go into my ear. I'm about ready to be done with this. They are too. Look at all these bees, man. I might need to come out here in a few couple days and make another split. They were so calm at first, but I think they just had enough of me. They're just done. And unfortunately, I'm about done too. We'll probably feed the other ones we put in these boxes, but these girls right here don't need it. That's a nice split. There they are. I think they look good. Much better than they did before. This hive's still trying to get settled in, and boy, is it strong. The rest of them seem to be settled in nicely. I think they're going to do well. <laughs> Over here, you'll see is the split we made into that seven frame nuke. Put it right to work. And here's the one that's been out here a while. I think my backyard is vastly improved instead of the mismatch of wooden boxes I had out here before. I'm excited about it. I will see how they do. I'll leave a link to Appin USA in the description below. I'll go check it out if you're interested. Y'all take care, be safe, and we'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>